I'll answer your question with a question to my the person to my left here, because <laughs> it's something that I'm very curious about. So I think safety cases are really good for again building structured arguments about you know you make a claim, pop a little claim about the safety of your system, and you have to have subclaims and then evidence to substantiate those. And I know Edge Case Research uh, is developing some really nice tools around. Uh, uh, identifying and um, tracking safety performance indicators, and what I th and and I think one of the things that the especially on the regulatory side lacks is like quantitative quantitatively, you know what is an acceptable quantitative metric for this particular uh, aspect of your system? You know you cannot exceed you know or your F1 score must be this or you know uh, those types of things. So I guess my question to my colleague to the left is how does Edge Case Research sort of a or do you guys establish thresholds for those SPIs, and how, how are those how are those established? Mm -hmm. I think that's that's a great question, and I think that uh, the the problem is that there's no one size fits all approach, right? right? There's all these different use cases, all these different ODDs. So we talk about uh, one specific set of, of SPIs, one specific set of thresholds. Uh, we start to to kind of run into a wall. Uh, but I, I think that when we think about kind of trying to verify AI and this, the sort of complexity that exists, we start uh, saying, well, we can't drive a bunch of miles, right? We've talked about that. Uh, so let's think about simulation and how do we utilize simulation? One of the things that we like to say is that like, all simulators are wrong in some way, right? They're, they're not, there's something wrong with it. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're not useful. Every simulator is useful. Uh, and so we work to try to figure, figure out how to glean uh, every bit of data that we can and the right bit of information from every simulator that we can. So there's three kind of main questions that we answer alongside simulation. Uh, the first being, uh, are we simulating across our, the entirety of our ODD, right? So we, we think about metrics that, that try, to, try to examine, are we simulating our entire ODD? Uh, we try to make sure that we're being safe within our ODD. So are we passing uh, uh, the, the different safety requirements that we're putting on our system or different subsystems in simulation? And then uh, we go and we uh, look at the real world and we say, okay, I'm going to go gather data about the real world, not autonomously driven, just driven. Uh, and does the real world match my ODD? Uh, so does the data that I collect mean that the assumptions that I made when I define my ODD, are they, is it correct? Uh, so we, we ask those three questions. And then finally, like there's metrics that are uh, tied to each one of those questions, right? Uh, and then finally at the end we say, okay, I'm going to go perform autonomously in the real world and do the output of or do those same metrics that I tested in simulation, do they match what I simulated? So is my simulator tracking the things that I'm trying to test in the ways that I expect it to? And so that's kind of the, the methodology that I think we, we would utilize to approach questions like that.